our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. 32-year-old Trujillo against 30-year-old Tony Sims, who is three inches taller than his opponent here tonight. To get things officially underway, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas for UFC 195, Lawler versus Condit. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 12 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Tony Sims. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 12 wins, seven losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Ava Killer Trujillo. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean to get us started live on pay-per-view for 2016. Mariani, Brittany, Chrissy, Vanessa, they are all here as we get set for this lightweight fight. Here we go. Tony Sims, the southpaw in the white trunks. Abel Trujillo in the black trunks. Trujillo, as Joe said during the walk-in, loves to stand and trade. Very powerful puncher. When he likes to unload, he likes to throw with everything he has. But if the opponents get through that, that's when he's had a hard time. Guys like Tony Ferguson, they were the weather storm and then get him. So what they want him to do is maybe not unload everything but the kitchen sink right away. Pick his spots and fight at more of a professional pace. Weather the early storm, perfect way to describe it. Controlled aggression, often as dangerous as anything in the UFC. Tony Sims fighting very cautiously, aware of the speed and explosion. It's exactly what we talked about, Joe. Tony Sims has a very good right hand, Mike. Very clean, throws him straight down the middle, and he's fighting southpaw now. Tony Sims, eight first round finishes, 12 victories at right hand, he tagged him. connected. And he's switching up stances as well. Fighting a little bit southpaw, fighting a little bit orthodox. But he's waiting for Trujillo to come in, he's trying to count, using that reach and height. There it is again, through that right hand, caught him. We were talking a lot about the ever-growing team elevation in Denver, Colorado, and when you talk about you know really talented strikers, Brandon Thatch is one of the guys who trains there. Of course, T.J. Dillashaw recently making the move from Sacramento to Denver. Yeah, Thatch is an excellent training partner. Oh, for a fight like this, very nice right left. I like what I'm seeing from Sims. Sims calculated, patient, and controlled, and scoring first here. Trujillo trying to cut it off. And Trujillo here looking for the takedown. Yeah, that Sims. tells you something. Yes, it does. Sims fights it off. And now he's got, well, momentarily he had double underhooks. Excellent defense by Sims. Trujillo lands a right hand on the break. Tony Sims in the pre-fight interviews acknowledging the power, the explosiveness, obviously, of tonight's opponent, Abel Trujillo. Well, all you have to do is look at him, right? First arrived obvious. at the Black Zillions, Joe, as a training partner. Trujillo looks a little bit tentative now, Mike. And a few of those shots from Sims have got him a bit cautious. Sims look at that. Beautiful. Out of he wants it. Beautiful duck under there. Very nicely done. He's got him up and down. Trujillo looking for. Got to be careful of that guillotine choke. Tony Sims spins. Trujillo looking for the choke. Yeah, it's all over. Able Trujillo Very by submission. Nice. Just the 
second submission victory of his professional career. Very, very nicely done by Abel. Boy, talk about capitalizing on a brief opening. Wow. Very, very nicely done. Our fight replay brought to you by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. And here's the takedown. And Abel immediately, you see him working for it here, utilizing that butterfly too, that's critical. And now here, sitting up on the top of the neck of Sims, locking it up nice and tight. I mean, he didn't even have guard there. He was kind of just on top of him. Look how he did this, utilizing the butterflies, turns him over, gets him on his back, and he's already got it locked up nice and tight. Then from that position, holds on to it, and just kind of puts pressure on him with his neck and his shoulder, and sits on it, and just the squeeze and the tightness of the choke gets the tap. Very nicely done. Abel Trujillo with his first career win by submission as a UFC fighter, and he does it here in the very first round. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine choke, Abel Killer Trujillo! Both of his career wins by submission by guillotine. Here's Joe. I'm here with Abel Trujillo. Abel, that is what it's all about when it's when you're a mixed martial artist, you made an adjustment. The stand-up seemed like you were having some problems with his length and his reach and his footwork. But man, when he went for that takedown, you locked up that guillotine tight and you never let it go. Yeah, like you said, it's the MMA. He's a great striker, but I knew I was better overall. Well, let's take a look at the submission, because as he's taking you down, you got a hold of his neck and utilize that butterfly and i think that was a really big part of your success here yeah he kind of just gave it to me so i took what he gave me well it's interesting as you finished it too i mean you didn't even have guard that shows what kind of a squeeze you have you're just kind of sitting on him here and forced him to tap yeah uh the guillotine is one of my strongest chokes with the, in the arm triangle so those two are my favorites well abel savor it enjoy it congratulations first off i gotta thank god i gotta thank glenn robinson I got to thank Neil Melanson, I got to thank Henry Hoof, and I got to thank Carrington Banks, and uh, thank you Dan White, Lorenzo Fatita, UFC, and all the fans, thank you so much. Abel Trujillo, ladies and gentlemen.